Hello guys, it's January 5th, 2017. Um, it's been freezing this week in Seattle. Um, I'll just show it to you. As you can see, this water is completely frozen. Um, there's not even like liquid water in this anymore. Everything is frozen in here. So that's how cold it has been here in Seattle. Um, just gonna give you a quick tour of the garden. So let's see. In the greenhouse, let's see. I'm pretty sure the water is frozen in the greenhouse too. Let me check. Yep, the water is frozen in the greenhouse too, so it's probably not good for the plants. Yep, right here, they're all frozen. Um, this is frozen too. Uh, yeah, so it's probably not good for the plants. But um, this one is actually doing pretty well. I'm glad. We're getting some new plants in here, which is a good thing, but they're all frozen. The um, it's all hard to detach. Um, so I'm gonna give them like a quick watering in a little bit. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All of these are frozen too. As you can see, the surface are dried. Um, due to the um, the desiccation from the dry air um, these are all pretty dry too everything is frozen um, so yeah I'm gonna give all of these some water in a bit hopefully to relieve the dryness and hopefully the crocus would be fine with this freeze so just when I was watering the plants, I found out that Snowdrop is actually doing pretty well. As you can see, there's one over there coming up, one over there. Um, there should be a few more. There's one over there too. So far I see four. There's another one over here. Four, four Snowdrops coming up in this one. Um, and <laughs> as soon as I water, um, this, this thing over here, um, the water is already frozen, like, over here. It's very slippery, so it just shows how cold it has been here in Seattle. Um, everything else pretty much looked the same. The blueberry, raspberry, lily of the valley, probably going to give all of them quick some quick watering um, strawberry as you can see it's definitely uh, changing color and the temperature is definitely affecting the uh, strawberry um, same as this lily as you can see the the deep freeze has been um, making the leaves uh, very fragile right now um what else and then this flower thing um it's definitely um looking kind of sad um i think it's definitely due to the the temperature um oops and then the rosemary looks about the same um going to give them some water same as lavender looks fine um tulip is doing well too um hopefully this this buds won't be affected by this freezing temperature but yeah water this water this as well daffodils um and as you can see this uh bird of paradise is definitely not happy with the temperature this leaves is all sad and stuff right here too yep this week hasn't been good 
for the plants. Um, I'm sure it will survive the winter though. Um, but the leaves are probably all just gonna look sad. This is fine. This is fine too. Yeah, just gonna give everything a quick watering. And that should be good. Yeah, it's interesting how you can see the uh, the soil, top soil, is dried. As for the indoor garden, um, the ferns are doing well, but they're not looking as good as they used to look. Um, so I should fix this sometime soon. And then for this orchid, it's still doing well. Um, the flower spike is doing well, but um, I think this flower might be dead actually, um, compared to other ones. You can see this one. And then this one, it's a little, like it shrinked a little bit. The surface is a little more yellow than this one. So, this one is probably dead. I don't know why. Um, there's already one dead flower over here and I took it out. And then apparently this is probably going to be the second dead flower. Not sure why. But it's the second flower spike, so... It's probably not going to be as good as the first one. And then for the other orchids, this one is doing well. Um, this little side growth is going really well. So that's good. Right there. And then this one is doing very well too. The flower is um, probably going to open in the next two weeks or something. Yeah, excited to see the flower, and and the uh, ficus bonsai tree isn't doing good. Um, I talked about it last week um, due to the low lights condition indoor. Um, it's not doing well. Um, this fern is actually doing pretty well. Been watering it. Um, likes the humidity inside so that's good and then i also moved uh this peacock plant indoor um as well as this fern indoor and hopefully they can recover um but i don't know it looks like it's pretty dead but we'll see um yeah this one too i mean it's still green over there but I'm not sure if it's going to recover from the freeze. And then everything else looks pretty good. So that's for the update this week.